Welcome to Gitsan News. Today is our very first online news segment. And the mission is to inform and educate Gitsan members on news and events that are happening in the area. Today is our very first news segment, and it was done keeping social distancing in mind. So I thank you for your patience as we will be having Chastity Daniels joining us. Who is the so the federal government has identified First Nations as some of the most vulnerable communities when it comes to the COVID-19 virus. And that's a lot to do with multi-generations living in single family dwellings. And it becomes difficult to isolate and contain the virus, especially given our elderly population. So we've got Chastity Daniels on the line here um, talking to us from Gitwangak. Can you tell us what is happening on the ground right now? So as of March 16th, um, Gitwangak enabled our incident command team from our community health plan relating to communicable disease emergency preparedness. Um, so we have several people that are on that command team with different roles and responsibilities. I will see the people that are in their roles and what their responsibilities are posted on the Gitwangak Health Authority page, as well as on personal pages, and as well as on our pandemic planning page. I mentioned in the first bulletin that we put out that my role is a community spokesperson. So it is my job to relay all the information that the incident command team is putting out there via Facebook, social media. And we chose to do social media and Facebook because we want to limit the contact from person to person. So what, what our incident command team have done thus far is we put out different bulletins with respect to how we're going to support all of our homes and our families and um, bringing in food to um, ensure that families won't have to leave the community for some of the main bigger essential items. And we're currently working on financial support and we've now recently moved within the last night to have barricades put up at all of our entrances because there are six um, access points uh, within Gitwangak and we want to uh, monitor um, those access points so we only have one access point where we have currently right now temporary monitors. As you'll see in one of the other bulletins we put out a call for interested community members that would like to help with the monitor situation you can email me and we'll go from there um, my email is up on the page as well so effective tonight march 31st we will be implementing the community lockdown where you'll hear an alarm uh, from our fire our community fire hall will ring at 10 o'clock as a warning for half an hour um, no one will be allowed in and out of the community after 10 30 p.m with the exception of RCMP and ambulance, of course, or any other critical emergency. Thank you, Chastity. Can you also talk a little bit about what you've been seeing so far and some of the other things that you guys have been working on? Um, we decided to create a video to really try to get the message across to all of our um, Get one guy members and residents who reside here because we're seeing that a lot of our own people are not taking our um, precautionary measures seriously we have people parking on the highway walking around them walking into the community we have other people that are trying to drive under the bridge to come into the community that um, are only here temporarily and then they're leaving um, we have people that are not following um, a lot of the similar recommendations from across Canada, like if you go to a place where we know there is a case, um, when you get home, you know, something as simple as taking off your clothes, having a shower, washing those clothes, wash, hand washing. We are still, I'm still receiving reports of parties that are happening on the reserve, um, birthdays, get togethers. We need to limit that as difficult it is it, as it is right now, we really need to do our part and um, 
we have to change our whole lifestyle right now and remember that you are safe at home. And if we have to go out, we need to um, help each other and um, if you're out in Paris or Hazleton or Smithers, pick up something for your neighbor or your elders. Thank you for joining us, Chastity, and thank you for members for tuning in. As there is more progress that is being made with the pandemic plans that are being implemented, we'll be keeping you updated, so please stay tuned. And in the meantime, we do have contact information uh, for those who are looking to reach out. So thank you again for joining us.